Hello! Uh, in the last video I showed how to save the data from a GPS device to a text file that could be transferred to another computer. But in this episode I'm gonna show how to get uh, the data from the GPS unit to appear in Google Earth instead. And uh, I do that by creating a KML file a key markup language file that's the file that Google Earth looks at and what we're gonna do is create a place mark so it's just oh yeah, this text there is a sample here I'm gonna use here is the sample so but as you can see here uh, the coordinates look a little bit different from compared to the coordinates we get directly from the GPS yeah as you can see they are negatives and yeah different because it's a different format uh, uh, from the GPS unit it is degree minutes and the Google Earth uses decimal degrees I think it is so what we have to do is first is to convert it so first I'm gonna get the GPS latitude from the GPS and I do float I want it to be a float value and data tree so what we're gonna do is uh, we take we're gonna move the dot two points forward to get the degrees and then we're gonna save that to a variable and then we're gonna take everything behind and uh, divide that by 60 and then add that back to that value to get the correct format so here it is GPS latitude and we're gonna get degrees now lat degrees equals gps lat divided by 100 but we don't want uh, want it to be a float we just want the digits before the dot so before the decimal sign so we do init for integer to remove that and uh, what we do next is uh, let's see we have to get the degree minutes lat min equals uh, lat gps uh, minus lat degrees times 100 because I divided that by 100 there so it's uh, uh, there no I don't think I need to use those here I do that and then I but there is one more thing we have to do uh, as you saw in the example file there this has a negative value and uh, in the NME uh, the way you see if it's uh, on the north to south hemisphere and west or east it's uh, let's see GPRMC where I find that GPRMC here this value it could be south or north or east or west yeah so let's add that here if data four equals uh, south 
I think it is then gps lat equal minus gps lat I think you can do it like that I'm gonna check to see if that is correct lat gps is not defined let this let's try now and see let g gps let's try now uh -huh. let GPS. Let's try now. Let GPS. Let's try again. But why is it? Let no. Let GPS. Let to GPS. Let to GPS. Yeah, now it seemed to work. Yeah, sorry about that. But let's try printing. Now first we're gonna calculate the latitude. Lat equals uh, Latitude degrees plus latitude minute divided by sixty. Yeah, that's that's this here divided by sixty. So let's check it. Print lat and see what happens if it works or not. Yeah, that works and uh, let's say we are north and so yeah let's change it to see if it is now we should get a negative value and we do if you get this wrong it only works on half the world <laughs> so it should be south and then I do the same thing for longitude and learn save and try again there's something wrong mm, yeah I forgot to change that that should be 5 and and it's not south, it's west, I think it's now. Let's check it out. Yeah, 
that seems to work nicely. So now let's write that as a. Yeah, we can still print it there, it doesn't matter, but let's write it to a KML file also. And that way we change a little bit here, right? And then we take. Now we go to this KML reference and we copy this place mark here, copy, and we write one, two, three, and paste it, and one, two, three, and then we change this to percent s and this to percent s and this we keep as here that's the altitude we don't need that and look at here we don't need and description python uh, we can call it live GPS from Python. Hello world. I scrape there. Hello world. That's a description. And that's a place mark, but it's not. We have to have uh, the start of the KML header and stuff like that. Uh, so you can find that here. copy that and put that in the beginning there and then I add it uh, n there dash kml and present at latitude and longitude there And we don't want it as TST file anymore, we want it as a KML file. So let's try it now. No. Line 40 s 47. There's nothing there. Yeah, we have to exit the right function here. Let's try now. Unsupported operate. Yeah, it should definitely be one of these. Now it seems to work. Let's cut position KML. Uh, but I think they are in wrong, wrong order, so let's take longitude and latitude. And save that, and let's try again. Yeah. Let's cut position KML and look at the file. Yeah, now it seems okay. So let's get Google Earth up and try to see if it works and I have the folder here position KML let's drag it over here and that's where I live exactly in the shores by Lake Wetten in Sweden so that works but it's you only read it once here we want it to auto update so yeah so now we have a, a KML file with the current position from the GPS unit that is updating every time it gets a new position from the GPS uh, but we want Google Earth to show it live so you can read in the 
KML reference here on how to create a network link and it says here how to do it and stuff like that so what I have done is I've just created a text file with a link to the position KML file and let's set that to 2 here then it means like it refreshes every 2 seconds here uh, that and you can have a URL there if you have it somewhere else but let's save that and uh, let's open it in uh, Google Earth uh, here is Google Earth and, uh, and here I have the file now live position KML I open it in Google Earth and it's here and you can see it updates it moves a little bit as the GPS get different receptions so that's how you do it of course now it's live on my computer here but the GPS unit can be on a remote computer and it just sends over the text file and you do all the math and calculations on the big computer yeah hope you liked it have a nice day goodbye